All right, folks, we're back today for Monster Marine. Today we have a 2008 Chaparral Sinesta 244. This is the Chaparral deck boat series. Beautiful boat, has all the features, all the options one could want. In great condition, great color combination. You have a blue side, white hull, white top cap. You have their new modernized windshield, which looks great. You have uh, six stainless steel pop cleats with Chaparral monogram ding, Chaparral signature vents. Boats in great shape. Uh, no scratches, chips, nicks, anything like that. Really nice, really clean Lake Norman boat. Long stainless steel folding ladder. Hides away nicely. Again, this side's in great shape. The difference between this side and that side. The decals on the other side are a little faded. Uh, you can see it in the pictures. Nothing major, just normal stuff. Boat's really nice, really clean, as we said. It's got chaparral style pickle part. What that does is widen the bow out. It gives it a nice modern look. Up here you have a, uh, a ladder that folds out as well as an anchor. Your navigation light flips up. You have two showers. Four docking lights, as I said. So when you're pulling into the dock at night, if you need a little bit more light. Boat comes with a bimini. It has uh, snap covers all the way around that are in great condition. Boat's really nice. As I said, it's a one owner Lake Norman boat. Never been anywhere else other than Lake Norman. Um, the boat is currently sitting on one of our trailers. It is a yard trailer, but it's a 2013 Easy Loader. But um, currently available for sale, it does not include a trailer. If you need a trailer, we have some used trailer options as well as new trailer options. Feel free to give us a call. If you're looking for a boat about this size, you're looking about $2,500 of brakes. But feel free to give us a call. We'd be more than happy to answer your questions there. This boat does have a Lobo Penta dual prop out drive, which makes it really nice. Pops it right out of the hole. You have a stainless steel grab rail with ski hook. And then we'll, we'll hop up on the boat and we'll show you the rest of the stuff inside. Be back in a second. All right, folks, we're back inside this 2008 Chaparral 244 Sinesta. So, the interior is like brand new. I kid you not, there's not a rip, a tear, a cut, a stain, no mildew, no nothing. This boat looks like it just left the Chaparral dealer. It really does. Um, has all the options, as I said, you have a mini bar. This is your sink right here. You have trash can. Under here you have your battery on and off switch. I don't know if you can see that or not, but you have a cooler as well as your trash can where you can drop trash right through there, which makes it nice, big enough for bottles and everything. You have a table that right here you have a pull on it and you can pull it, you can spin it and it'll lock right in so it makes it nice and easy. It stows away kindly and nicely right under here. You can just unpull this, slide it right out. Go put this away real quick so you can see it's nice and easy. This door unlocks. Now they've really got it figured out here. They have a uh, bungee corded board, which makes it nice to stow away the table, stow away the leg. So we just put the table away, it only took a second. Close that up. Now, you have a nice layout, you have your two captain's chairs with flip-up bolsters, in-floor giant ski locker. When I mean giant, it is giant. You can hide like three or four people in there. You have a bathroom, little head in there, which is nice. You have all your original cleaning supplies and everything for the toilet, your sanitation stuff. You have a nice glove box. You got your radio remote. The boat does have your radio, which is in here, right above here. Clarion CDM5, which makes it nice. That means it has satellite radio. You have all your factory chaparral gauges. Uh, we're gonna have to turn on the battery switch. Right under here, we'll flip that on. As you'll see, everything will power up. The radio was kind enough to turn on for us as well. Um, you have a digital depth, you have a digital gauge right here. This shows everything. Show your engine temperature, your water, your lake water temperature, and we'll show your battery voltage, 
it will show your depth, it'll show your hours, and then you can also go in and change it to get it to show some other stuff. Miles per hour, RPMs, trim, fuel, you have all your switches for everything, all your factory switches, radio controller, your uh, blower control switch. Oh, it's beeping and telling us we have low fuel, but it won't have low fuel in a minute because we're going to take it to the gas station and we're going to put some non-ethanol fuel in there. And we're going to go put the boat on the water, even though we've already ran it, it runs great. You have your factory shifter. This boat shifts so smoothly. I was actually impressed with it. Now, at the bow area, I have a nice wide bow. As you can see, I can lay fully out almost the whole thing. And I'm not very tall, but still impressive. If I don't kill myself. Bow filler cushion, there's a storage spot for it over there. You have a nice little ice cooler up here. This also doubles for your uh, for your bow filler cushion. Then you have up front shower, so then you don't get the boat all sandy. You have a ladder that flips up right here, and as well as an anchor. Again, the interior is in great shape. This window doesn't have a the newer style, so it doesn't have a uh, snap. It has a magnet, which is nice. Close that up if you need to. Let's just say it's a rainy night. We're gonna close that up. We're cold. We're gonna lock that right there. If you're nice and protected from the elements. Put your uh, forward cockpit cover right there. Really nice. Keep it nice and dry, nice and warm. Now we're gonna show you the best feature of this boat. Volvo Penta 5 GXI. Volvo Penta, great reputation. 305 engine, really nice, really clean. Runs out perfect, freshly serviced, everything. New water pump, new belt, new spark plugs, oil change, everything, drive oil. Everything was just done on the boat. It needs absolutely nothing other than a new home to use it. it has a bimini, you'll see it in the pictures, we'll open the bimini. But on the back, this is a cool feature. Most the, now, all the boat manufacturers do it, but when these ha, when these first came out with them, nobody had it. It was really nice. This back bench, which makes it nice and accessible for boating. If you're out there on the water, you and I know that nine times out of ten, you're gonna go drive to a spot that you and your honey like, or you and your kids like. You're gonna hang out. Well, it's really nice. Two people can sit here very comfortably. It's nice and comfortable. You have access to your radio controller, so you don't like the radio station. Kids are jumping off the swim platform, you want to lower the outdrive. Hit the switch, it'll go up or down real easily. You have a shower over here as well. Pulls out really nice and easy. So before they get your boat all sandy, you can just take this over here and hose them off. Feed that back in there. You have your fresh water fill right here, as well as your gas. Boat's really nice, really clean. As I said, everything works on it. Feel free to give us a call if you need transport or export, or if you're local, be, feel free to deliver it to you. It's not a problem. We also can help you getting a trailer. We sell brand new easy loader trailers. We have some trailers in stock that fit this boat. Feel free to give us a call. The number will be in the listing. Good luck.